Perineal tendinitis is a condition of pain and swelling that occurs in the ankle and it occurs after injury in some instances and those injuries might be an ankle sprain where the ankle is twisted or turned in causing stretching of the structures on the outside of the foot. It can also be because of a pre-existing high arched foot. So if your foot has a very significant high arch and tends to tilt in, it puts a lot of stress on the perineal tendons. The perineal tendons are two tendons that reside right behind the fibula, which is the bone on the outside of your ankle. So the outside of the ankle where the knuckle is, or if you look right behind that or feel right behind that, then you've got two tendons that run and turn the corner behind that area and then attach to the base of the fifth metatarsal and also one of them crosses under the foot. Those tendons stabilize the ankle and prevent it from twisting in and maintain a neutral position for your foot. They work against the tendons on the other side of your foot to give you balance. When you injure those tendons, then you can have the tendency to twist the foot more readily and it can also cause pain and swelling around that outside edge of the foot where those tendons occur. If you have perineal tendonitis, this can be treated initially at home for a short period of time uh, when you suspect it with the use of an ankle brace, like a sports lace-up brace. And in addition, you can also, if you have ever had a prior injury, if you have a boot or a fracture walker, then you can put it in a fracture boot for anywhere from four to six weeks and often reduce the symptoms from this. A lateral wedge placed on the outside of your shoe can also reduce pain and if you're able to get that at home then that may be also an option for you. There are also uh, over-the-counter orthotics that have been designed to help tilt the foot out of that position and for example uh, the FootMind uh, Cable Varus or High Arch Orthotic is a very effective orthotic in tilting the foot away from the perineal tendons. There are ways to treat this as well with anti-inflammatory drugs using uh, Motrin or Ibuprofen and Aleve for up to two weeks. Sometimes those swelling symptoms and pain can be effectively treated. In addition to that, use of, uh, of newer anti-inflammatory creams and gels placed along those tendons and in the area where the symptoms are greatest can help to reduce symptoms a little bit as well. Once these things have been tried, I would probably give a perineal tendon injury or, or problem a six week to eight week period of treatment at home before considering seeing your doctor. And if symptoms persist, then it's appropriate for, it to for you to have it examined. When you see your physician or your foot doctor, uh, he or she will initially uh, examine your foot, make the diagnosis, usually through examination and by observing the way that you walk, and may consider x-rays or even in some cases an MRI or ultrasound to examine whether or not a tendon tear has occurred. A tendon tear in the perineal tendons is usually a split tear where along the course of this long tendon the tendon splits down the middle and then becomes painful because the edges of the tendon start moving against one another and become inflamed and swollen. If that is the case then your doctor will often initially recommend physical therapy to help to, to uh, allow for strengthening of those tendons and reduction of swelling and therapy can be very effective in improving the symptoms and then in addition also immobilizing you in either a cast or a boot is appropriate for up to six weeks. If these have been effectively tried and haven't been effective in resolving symptoms then the next stage in treatment is usually surgery. Perineal tendon tears do not tend to heal completely on their own. They become less symptomatic with non-operative treatment but if they remain symptomatic or if they still have pain and swelling they need to be treated with surgery. Surgery involves making an incision along the tendons, along that outside edge, and then in addition to that, uh, opening up the sheath over the tendons and repairing that tear in the tendon with stitches. Once that stitch repair has occurred, then everything is closed and you have to be in a cast for two to four weeks and sometimes a boot for up to six or eight weeks. And you'll probably need to modify your activities for up to six months afterwards. Usually sports activities of an extreme nature require about six months of healing time before you're ready to return. However, surgical treatment has been very effective for perineal tendon tears and more than 90% of patients improve following surgery done appropriately.